Assalamu alaikum guys once again I'm back with another quick tutorial and today we are talking about the virtual box how to install a virtual box and how you can install a Microsoft operating system in virtual box easily in low end PC first of all you need to open a website called virtualbox.org where you can easily download this virtual box and what is virtual box you can read here all the description about virtual box and how you can download it just click here on the downloads and now in this section you can see here virtual box version platform packages so if you are downloading for windows operating system microsoft then definitely you will download windows host after downloading i will show you how you can install it just right click on it click on open okay now here you need to click on the next button and then simply uh, you can choose the path for uh, if you want to uh, install this virtual box in a separate folder by default the folder is c program files oracles virtual box just click on next and here are some uh, options you can select by yourself and then click on next and after that just yes and install then user account control will appear click on yes and now it's installing Would you like to install this device software? So definitely if you want to install a virtual box, you need to install Oracle Corporation software's drivers and click on install. Okay, after the installation process, Oracle VM virtual box version installation is complete. Click the finish button to exit the setup wizard. And if you check this option, then after clicking on the finish, your virtual box will start automatically. Now you need to create a Windows 10 um, virtual machine operating system. So just click on the new. And now here you just need to type what you want to install. So I'm in, I want to install Windows 10. So just choose the Windows 10. Now here you can see automatically version choose. Now here you can choose the architecture 32 and 64 it's all depends on you I'm going with 64 so just choose 64 click on next now just here choose the manually on the green high level and then click on next and uh, here you can create a virtual hard disk now use an existing virtual hard disk file and do not add our so just uh, by default go with create and vdi then click on next dynamically allocated is the best so click on next now here you need to choose the hard disk space so by default everything is fine just click on create now it's created now the further step are just click on the settings and in setting tab you can just click on the advanced now share clipboard so click on the uh, disable button uh, scroll and choose the bidirectional and drag drop bidirectional now the further step is processor everything is by, def uh, by default is there you can just increase this on two and uh, I, I think everything is just fine just click on display and it's just fine storage now here you need to select the uh, your hard disk iso file so just uh, click on the controller sata and here you need to choose the iso file so just click here adds optical drivers and now here you need to choose your hard disk and if you and, and if it's not appear, appearing here then you can simply click on the add button and find where you have downloaded iso file so choose that and click on open and then choose that's it now you are done with your hard disk so after this just click on ok now your everything is just fine click on start so after choosing the iso file once again here click on the start and here ne you need to choose the iso file once again and then click on start that's it now windows installation process is very simple as you know everyone and if you don't know you can just uh, click on the i button and watch the video how to install windows 11 step by step complete guide you can just check out in my i button video and if you don't have product key definitely you can just skip this option choose 
any windows version and then click on next and then here you need to accept the agreements and terms just check this option and then click on next in the next section in, in virtual uh, machine uh, you can just customize it and now you need to create a uh, new location new drive path and simply click on new and apply that's it you can uh, just create multiple drivers here partitions here create here um, recently we choose 50 gb size for this virtual machine now you can just uh, divide these in a partition it depends on you and if you don't know how to install properly uh, and uh, you want to know about how to install a proper uh, windows 10 step by step then check my i button i hope this video helpful helpful for you hit the subscribe button and share it with friends we'll see you next video take care allah hafiz bye bye